Hi, I'm Joseph Hillenmeyer. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Ventilation here at April Air, and I want to talk about some of the uh, differences amongst ventilation products that you might be using to bring fresh air into your home or potentially control humidity in your home. So first we'll talk about the difference between an ERV and a dehumidifier. As ERVs have grown in popularity, and that's an energy recovery ventilator, sometimes people think that uh, they have the ability to dehumidify, uh, which is not what they do. They're not removing moisture from within the home. They do have the ability to take that incoming air and remove some moisture from that before it is added to the home. So in that sense, they're preventing the impact on RH inside the home that bringing fresh air in would have, but they're not actually lowering their absolute humidity within the home, lowering the RH in the home uh, as a dehumidifier would. There's also a difference between an ERV and an HRV. Well, both of them are recovery ventilators. An HRV is only recovering sensible load, not latent load. So it's not managing that humidity in the same way that an ERV is. You're just getting that transfer of temperature. So if you have cold air outside, warm air inside, you're gonna be able to recover some of that warm air as you bring that indoor air in. That's gonna save on energy bills and preserve some of the temperature in the home. Likewise, in the summer, you can get that transfer the other way. With an ERV, you're getting that transfer with moisture as well. So you can prevent some of that moisture from entering the home during hot summertime and you can uh, keep it in the home during the colder, drier months in the winter. So all three products serve a slightly different purpose depending on your climate and your goals. But if you want to dehumidify the air in the home, use a dehumidifier. If you want to prevent humid air from entering or leaving the home, use an ERV. And if you want to manage and recover temperature, use an HRV. So the difference between latent and sensible load, really what we're talking about there is heat versus humidity. As I'm sure we've all talked about before, it's not the heat, it's the humidity, right? There's the impact that humidity has on the way you feel. When we're managing to that, that's the latent load. When we're removing moisture from the air, we're managing the latent load. When we're removing heat from the air, like the way an air conditioner works, then we're managing sensible load. That's an easy way to think about the difference between an air conditioner and a dehumidifier. A dehumidifier manages latent load and an air conditioner manages sensible load. That's why if you try to use one to do the job of the other one, you're not going to be uh, too successful. So Joseph, let me ask you a question. We hear all the time that you can use your heating and air unit to control humidity. And I'm using the word control in finger quotes. Mm -hmm. Is that based on what you said about latent and sensible load, that's not recommended. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, you know, th there's certainly going to be uh, walls that you're going to run up against when you're trying to do that. If you're heating the air, you're going to remove some of the moisture from it. But if you're doing that at a time of year when it's hot, that's not a real effective way to remove humidity, right? Because now you're raising the temperature. Um, there are variable speed or a lower speed air conditioner. By running at a lower speed, uh, you can pull more of that moisture out before you've actually finished uh, conditioning. So, you know, what we run into sometimes with air conditioners when we're controlling, trying to control humidity is they reach, they take care of the sensible load or they reach the temperature set point before they've taken care of the RH set point, the latent load. There are some changes now that are allowing those to um, air conditioning units to work a little bit better at handling that latent load, but ultimately you're going to be much more efficient using a dehumidifier uh, to do that because that's what it's designed to do. You can get that latent load to where it needs to be without lowering your temperature at the same time. And that's where we get that cold clammy feeling, right? If you try to remove moisture simply by cooling, you're going to get a really you're going to get an overcooled environment like you might find in you know florida or parts of houston and places like that if you ever walk into a building down there you get a real cold feeling that's often because humidity is being managed with an air conditioner